While most of us will be enjoying cookouts and fireworks tomorrow, Governor Rick Scott is in Kuwait visiting with National Guard and Army Reserve troops from here in Florida. He spoke via Skype with our own Glenna Milberg about his Independence Day trip. Well, we had a great day. Um, just, I mean, first off, just thanking him for their service. Visiting Florida-based soldiers in Kuwait this week, Florida Governor and Navy Vet and Senate candidate Rick Scott brought troops a taste of home, awarded four medals of merit there, and in the hours before we Skyped, watched a missile firing. A Florida state business trip, or is this a Senate campaign trip? Oh, it's clearly business. It's clearly for uh, the governor's office. You know, I, I try to, as much as I can, do the, the deployments. And what a lot of people don't realize is our National Guard has been deployed over 100 times since 9-11. Locked in a tight and increasingly combative campaign to unseat incumbent Senator Bill Nelson, public appearances are default campaign appearances for both men. Today, their campaign sparred over debate dates, assistance for storm-battered Puerto Ricans, and still unclear details of reuniting migrant children and parents separated at the border. Florida has not joined 17 other states in a lawsuit against the Trump administration about it. My understanding, they've told us they're going to re reunify these families, so there's no re there's no reason for a lawsuit. They're they're going to what they've said is they're going to re make sure these families are back together. And one last question ahead of the 4th of July about the roughly one third of Floridians who choose independence from party affiliations and so cannot vote in the primaries next month to pick candidates for Scott's successor. The governor said he thinks Florida's system is working as is. On Skype with the governor today, I'm Glenna Milberg, Local 10 News. And Governor Scott will also be meeting with the U.S. Ambassador to Kuwait before returning to Florida.